All right, we're running it back again here. We are going back to look at another game from DeLon Wright. For those of you who say, oh, yeah, he had two triple doubles last year. That's great, but he did it, he did it against a bad Mavericks team. That's a valid point, especially late in the year when the Mavericks weren't super interested in winning. I know there was a little nostalgia in saying, hey, this is Dirk's final run. Uh, we want to get these late wins for him, not send him out on just a complete buzzkill. See uh, Sala Mejri in Memphis last year for that example. So we're going to take a look again, thanks to Free Dawkins, at another DeLon Wright game, this time against the mighty Portland Trail Blazers, just to give you an idea of what he can do against even high-end competition. Let's get it! Yes, yes, Pinnacle, as I basically unintentionally plug their ad. In Memphis... Lillard uh, immediately there. I'm kind of a fan of those uh, Grizzlies uniforms. I like the light blue. Aggressive drive to the basket. Finishes early. I like it. Oops, as I bump the stream deck. That's an easy rebound. Not a whole lot there. Splits the needle through transition. High finish off the glass with contested. That's nice. Rodney Hood. No good. There you go. Chandler Parsons. Oh, man. As, mu as mad as we were with Harrison Barnes, uh, safe to say we, we did just fine. Good find on the backdoor cut, and DeLon Wright gets the easy finish. Spin move. Oh, okay, he got fouled. I was going to say, holy crap, if he finishes that. Spot up three. Knocked it. Takes the handoff, knocks it down. Stress put on it, so it affects me long term. Straight line drive got by Noah. Okay, there we go. Go on right, leaking out. And he's gonna get a bucket. Oh, ooh. A floater from the top of the circle. That's a high school three pointer on a runner at the buzzer. Blocked at the rim there, so there's one of his misses. Gets the back door for the layup. Nice feed again from, I believe that's Spencer Hawes. No, that's Joaquin Noah. Why did I say Spencer Hawes? Joakim Noah, hey, DeLon Wright's repping uh, his old buddy Joakim Noah's number in Dallas, 55. I know DeLon Wright had that before as well, I'm just saying. Good steal, Noah gets the leak out. DeLon Wright making plays on both ends, man. Tip passes, getting out, finishing. DeLon Wright with the tip in again. He's everywhere in this game, man. I mean, if, if you're looking at the corner, you see he finishes with 25 points on 9 of 13 shooting. Transition layup for uh, Conley there. Grizzlies get it. Wow. Grizzlies win over the Blazers. That's pretty impressive there. So in this game, DeLon Wright. Gets a little bit of everything. You did, I don't think you saw anything deep from him it didn't look like. You didn't see him. I mean, you saw the runner before halftime. That was pretty cool. But you didn't see him hitting down, hitting down, knocking down threes. You saw a lot of him uh, just kind of feeling the pressure around the rim, getting there on the backside where the defense had let up, getting easy layups, getting out in transition, tipping passes. It's not a blow-you-away game. It's not a game with a lot of sexy points or a lot of style points or anything like that. But it is absolutely the kind of play from your point guard that can lift you and give you some of the dirty work. Some of the stuff that you need to win games. You need easy baskets. It works that way regardless of the sport. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a quarterback hitting a couple easy passes over the middle because you schemed it wide open. Or if you're talking about getting a layup. Sometimes if you're if you're an NBA player, let alone a an offensive threat... Getting a couple easy baskets, being a transition layup or a dunk or whatever, just the visualization of the ball going through the basket will do wonders to break a cold streak, for instance. So DeLon Wright, if this is a night where his three-point shot either wasn't necessary or maybe around the time of this game it hadn't been falling very well, even by his standards, then fine. He, he relies more on this, and instead he has a game where he goes 9 of 13 for 25 points, and he never had to do anything too advanced other than the shot before half and hey maybe that shot only goes in because he's been having such a good game at that point because he's been getting so many easy shots around the rim that he felt 
he felt confident and a little bit empowered to just flip that up as the awkward runner before half and knocks it down. You know, it all feeds into it. It's all part of the psychological thing. So I like, I like this signing a lot. I really do. At the time I was ho-hum about it. Now I kind of see it as maybe one of the more underrated signings. And I don't think he's going to be like your, your steal the show guy for the Mavericks. You know what I mean? Like he's not going to be the guy that you're looking at. Uh, a whole lot, and you're saying like, man, this thing, the, oof, DeLon Wright is really leading this team. I think it's going to be a little bit more of a silent thing. You're going to kind of look at it and be like, yeah, you know, DeLon Wright's pretty good for us, you know? Like, I, that, that's more of an impact than I thought he would have. He's he's pretty uh, pretty steady hand there. You know, they give him, they call Luca cool hand Luca. He might have a little bit of that cool hand effect there when whenever he is asked to kind of run things a little bit or create for some of the guys around him, you're going to see a very cool, even, patient tone that's still quite effective. So a lot to look forward to for this, but we're going to do some more of these videos and uh, I'm going to run, start running them out over the next couple of days. So until next time, guys, remember every legend was once a prospect.